What's up guys, this is Hasnan from Training Codes and I'm back with a new video. In this video, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna launch the navigator. For example, uh, I have a demo for you people. And in this, what we're gonna do is, uh, uh, I want to look at a store nearby me, that is KFC or McDonald. And uh, if, I, if I navigate to KFC, it, it's gonna open in the navigation app, that is uh, Google or Waze or uh, Uber or some some another app which is uh, possible by uh, to provide a navigation to locate these stores okay so um, as you can see uh, it, it will be navigating from my location to the KFC okay so this is how we can locate this store but this was the part where, where I have just shown you uh, how it works but what about the code? What about the backend? What technologies we are going to use behind that? What native plugin we are going to use behind that? And the native plugin is the Launch Navigator, as you can see over here. Uh, Launch Navigator of the Ionic. Uh, I'm on the official website of the Ionic, and the plugin is Launch Navigator. If you want to know more about the Launch Navigator, you can go to this repo and refer refer to this post on the github okay and what are the steps to installation for this particular um, app is uh, if you want to use this um, for uh, launch navigator inside your ionic app first of all you need to go ahead and uh, copy and paste copy and paste this inside your um, console okay in the project directory and once it gets installed uh, don't forget to install the uh, ionic native wrapper npm install this one okay once you install this uh, what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna open the uh, I guess um, app.module.ts file and inside the app.module.ts file uh, you are gonna import the launch navigator right away as an ionic native wrapper okay don't forget to import this one once you import the launch navigator uh, you should implement or you should uh, tell the imports no i'm sorry not imports uh, i guess um yeah providers uh, to be uh, you should inject your launch navigator inside the providers because uh, it it will be providing a data so you should be uh, importing first of all you should be importing the launch navigator from the uh, ionic native launch navigator once you are done with that you should imp import it or you should uh, provide it into the providers right over here okay now we are ready to go and we are ready to use the launch navigator inside your home or inside your home.html file or anything you want okay so uh, I have created the two cards as you can see in the um, my emulator I have created the two cards and two buttons now for this I have written the SCSS if you need a code it's right below in the description you can just copy and paste inside your app okay or inside your editor so first of all we're going to create the card that is the ion card and uh, we're going to implement two buttons inside that okay so let's get started okay so uh, i forgot to tell you why i'm doing this video is because it's a request from one of my subscribers that is maddie Hanna and uh, i'm doing on the request of that subscriber so uh thanks for giving an opportunity to do this video maddie and uh let's get started so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to create a two cards right away inside your home.html file okay and you're going to make the ion card okay so um uh, what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to use the class over here and uh, the class is right over here you can get this code from your uh, from the description of this video okay and uh, once uh, we're done with this we're going to create a card and that is um, ion card okay and inside of the ion card we're going to create one image and the source will be 
um, from asset obviously assets okay and from the assets um, I'm gonna use the KFC dot JPG okay now um, uh, I'm gonna create one division which will be holding the car title um, deal um, and the class for that division is um, class equals to um, car title okay and you know what uh, this one is the easiest way to navigate from uh, to navigate or to locate the store uh, uh, in the uh, navigation navigation app like Google or Waze or Uber. Okay, and I'll be I'll be telling that it should be uh, K KFC. Okay, now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create the button right over here. And I should say that it should be of ion button, okay? And it is ion button, and I'm gonna I'm gonna implement the click event right over here, okay? And uh, it should be of block, B L C K, okay? So it will be uh, a look better. Now uh, I'm I'm gonna create one function that is nav me. And inside the nav me, I'm gonna pass the address. Okay, so let's say for an example, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass for KFC as a KFC. Okay, and um, I'm gonna give you uh, navigate navigate to KFC. Okay, now we have created the one card. Now in the same way, we should, we should create the uh, second card and to do that I'm gonna just go ahead and copy and paste okay and I'm gonna change the um, title and the um, image so here I'm gonna use the uh, MCD for MACD and for the card title I'm gonna use over here as McDonald McDonald's Mm, okay okay uh, now same over here I'm going to use the K I'm going to remove the KFC I'm going to use the MACD okay uh, so uh, let's go ahead and save this and it, it's building now uh, as you can see I have to change the address right over here now I'm going to uh, I'm going to pass the address as a parameter of the Naomi function so uh, I have an address over here in my notes for the uh, MACD. Okay, so uh, for example, if you're creating one app uh, which will be navigating or which will be uh, locating to your own store. Uh, let's say for example, you're creating an, you're creating an app, okay? And th this app is for a particular uh, store or particular company. Uh, that is owned by you or you got the project to develop an app for that particular company now wh what you want to do is you want to navigate the user to that particular store or to that particular company so what you're gonna do is you're gonna pass the address of that particular company inside your uh, function which you're calling on, on the button click okay so let's say for example I'm going to navigate my user to the MACD by just passing the uh, passing this um, address as a parameter inside my nail me function so I hope you understand what exactly I'm doing over here now this is now me function which will be get involved when I'm going to click on the button okay I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and seal this okay now I'm going to open my home.ts file now the first step what should you take care of inside your home.ts file is that you should import the launch navigator along with that you you want to use launch navigator option you can import that as well if you don't want to use launch navigator option then it's okay if you will not import it in this tutorial we are, go we are not going to use the launch navigator option now I'll just show you what exactly launch navigator option will be having uh, as, you, as you can see over here the the launch 
uh, led option of launch navigator option will be holding the starting address of the uh, uh, from where you're gonna start and and it will be telling in which app you should open okay so uh, for example if you want to open in uber you can just type launch navigator dot apps dot uber but if you are not using the launch navigation option then you will be having all the app which are installed on your device and you will be able to select let's say for an example when i click on the button i'll be getting uh, waze uber uh, google maps and all the uh, all the app which are able to navigate me or which are a navigator app so i'm not going to use the uh, launch navigator option in this particular video i'll be just using uh, this doc launch navigator okay so uh, let's see uh, first of all um, here is my function that is pretty simple okay and uh, nav me of address which will be coming from here okay which will be coming from as a parameter from right over here and um, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, okay I just forgot to tell you something uh, you should inject it this into the constructor that is your launch navigator right from you have imported you have imported the launch navigator right over here and you should be injecting that launch navigator inside your constructor okay now once you uh, use this or once you inject the construct inside the constructor you'll be creating a naomi function and which will be having a one parameter that is address okay now this dot launch navigator dot navigate now this is the function which will be navigating to your address so i'll be passing this address as a parameter into the navigate function now if you'll open the navigate into the uh, your um I ionic uh, launch native plugin uh, you'll be you'll be getting the navigate function right over here this is a navigate function which will be uh, uh, which will be taking the parameter as a destination as a string and the options that it will be launch navigator option and it will be written in the promise so it is written in the promise so you can use the then and uh, what 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 you want to do you can do that with the help of then okay but i'm not using then over here okay so on success you can just use whatever the code you want and on error you can just tell the user that the address is not well or address is not specified correctly whatever you want to do you can do that in, with the help of then okay so um, in this uh, in this tutorial i'm not i'm not uh, implementing in a 2d but i'm just giving an overview of how you can navigate the user from uh, your current position or current location to the address which you have specified into your app okay now uh, once you do this this dots uh, launch navigator or dot navigate and you're passing the address and the optional part is the uh, this one launch navigator option if you're not going to use the launch navigator option then it's up to you okay so let's go ahead and check our app it's working or not so I have oh, this is my um, okay so first of all what we're gonna do is uh, let's say for an example I'm, I want to I want to go to the KFC from my current position okay so do remember I'm not passing the start look starting location so by default the Google map will be uh, taking your current location I have not installed the Waze on my emulator okay so if you want to install the Waze if you want to install other navigation app you can install and once you click on this you'll be getting the option uh, Google Waze Uber or all the other apps okay I'm not having any other apps I'm only having a Google map so I'll be getting a Google map open directly so if i click on the navigate to the kfc it's going to open the google map right away okay let's see here we go it opened the google and what i'm going to get is i'm going to navigate from your location to the kfc now over here i'm having a connection problem right now so it won't be navigating or it, it won't be showing me a route right directly but i hope uh, it, it's going to work into your uh, real device or into your emulator okay so um, this was uh, from your location to the KFC now let's say for example I want to go to the MACD right from uh, from my location okay so um, your I'm sorry where is it mm, come on 
What happened? Yeah, this. Okay, so um, if I want to go to the uh, MACD, I can just press on the navigate to the MACD and I'll be navigated to the McDonald right over here. Okay, now if you don't want to use as a starting location as your current location, then you can change by start colon your address right over here. Okay, and you can use the uh, dot navigate as your destination address over here and this will be the source over here so you can go to the uh, this website and you can you can take a look what are the options what are the destiny uh, what are the parameters that is accepting your navigate function okay so uh, once again thanks Mary for uh, allowing me to do this video uh, I was not knowing about this uh, plugin but when you just told me I just searched on the Google and I got to know about this launch navigator plugin okay and once again thank you and I hope uh, you have learned something or you got to know what exactly how it works and I, I hope I have helped you now take care bye bye